Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you two cool custom effects that you can add today to your Go High Level websites to give them this premium look. As you can see, all the elements from this page have a nice entrance animation and also an exit animation when we scroll down and this makes the website look 10 times better than just having no effect or just by using the standard entrance effects that Go High Level offers you. So let's hop into the Go High Level website builder and design this effect. So we are going to use this particular website that I've created in a previous video uh, for demonstration purposes for today and the first thing we have to do is select all the elements that we want our effect to be applied to for example this text right here click on the advanced tab go uh, down here to where it says custom class and add this class cool entrance copy this class and also add it to all the elements that you want your effect uh, to be applied to. For example, this subtext, this button, this uh, disclaimer down here, this again, small uh, thing, <laughs> small badge, uh, title, headline, and also these sections, as you can see, have the custom class applied. Cool entrance, as you can see. Next thing, and Bear with me because I'm going to show you the exact code for free, right? That you need in order for this effect to work. Uh, two effects uh, to be more precise. Uh, but if you already have my Notion doc, you can uh, go into this tutorial, advanced entrance effects. And here you can copy, um, by clicking on this button, you can copy the code and uh, it's very very easy plug and play into your website if you don't have my notion doc just pause the video and copy the exact uh, thing the exact script that you see on screen right i'm gonna give you this effect for free but obviously if you want to get my notion doc there is a link in the description and as you can see it contains tons and tons of cool effects that you can use to make your Go High Level website 10 times better, impress your clients and charge more for your website. Now that you've copied the JavaScript or maybe you just paused the video and copied that way, uh, create a custom code element or just use an existing one. For this example, I'm gonna create one. And here you just paste the JavaScript code, right? That you got from my Notion doc or uh, you just typed it, click save, and now it's time to add the CSS. For this, again, we need to copy the effect from here. And we are going to use this effect from here. Effect 2, blur, shift up, and zoom. Again, you can pause the video and copy the CSS from the, from the screen or get it from my Notion doc. As you can see, this particular tutorial, Advanced Entrance Effects, contains five such effects, but in this video I'm going to show you two. So, now that you've copied the CSS, you just paste it in here. As you can see, um, everything is in here. Pause the video again and copy. Click Save. And as you can see, everything disappears. This is uh, because we applied the CSS right away. But if you still want to edit the elements, just remove the CSS and add it at the end when you finished everything on your website. Click save and let's preview it and see how it looks. And as you can see, everything loads with a really, really nice animation, as you can see, and also disappears when they are not rendered in um, on your screen right so when you scroll past an element it just disappears and it's basically a reversed animation uh, compared to, to to the one that uh, happened 
when they first entered your screen. You got the point. Really, really cool, makes the website look more premium, more professional, and yeah, will definitely impress your clients and you can definitely charge way more for a website that looks like this compared to a standard one. And speaking of standard one, you can also use this tab animations and let's say you want a fade in animation here, but this only happens once when the element first enters the view, right? So if we click save and check the website, if we refresh the page, as you can see, we have that cool animation, but it's only once. So if you scroll past it, it, it doesn't appear again. But with our animations, you get that effect whenever you scroll to that specific element. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you another such effect using the same JavaScript. So you don't need to make any changes to this JavaScript code. You just keep it the same. All you need to do is copy another CSS, which is this one. Effect five, scale, rotate, fade and blur. One that I feel it's a bit more interesting than the previous one and again it's a really really simple one just pause the video and copy or you can get it from my notion doc let's copy it as you can see we have five entrance effects in this tutorial and i'm telling you all of them are really really cool we copied it we got into custom css and we pasted it here and as you can see everything is getting a bit uh, skewed uh, let's disable the animation from here because we don't want it. Um, again, you need to add the CSS at the end when you already finished everything on the page. Otherwise, you can't really uh, see much, <laughs> as you can see, because the effect is, uh, is applied right away. Let's refresh the page. And as you can see, we have a really cool spinning animation that looks way cooler in my opinion than the previous one and yeah you can also combine them you can have some of the elements rotate some of the cars for example uh, just go up with the previous effect you can do so much more with uh, these effects and those are just two of the effects that I had in here but as you can see the page contains five such effects and in the future I'll probably add more so if you want to get access to this notion doc with tons and tons of cool effects that you can use in go high level you can get it from the first link in the description and if you're curious to see exactly how I've built this amazing looking website from scratch step by step in go high level then watch this video